As Boeing's hope to regain its position as the world's leading airliner, the 777X is set to shake up the aviation industry when it enters service. But is that future too far-fetched given the challenges it faces, both big and small? So what are the challenges holding this program back? Can Boeing get out of this predicament? Find out in today's episode. But before we start, if you're new, please leave a like and subscribe to help us build this channel. And you'll also be the first to see our new content in the future. Now let's dive in. The 777X program has been in development since 2013. Currently, only the Dash 9 is in production. Boeing has also proposed a shorter, longer range Dash 8 and a longer range Dash 10 to compete with the Airbus A380. However, the plane has been hit by numerous delays, pushing the jet's entry into service to 2025 from its previous target of 2023. It also faces strict certification scrutiny from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration. The FAA has told Boeing that it will not certify the plane until it completes a preliminary safety review and concerns about missing data. The plane's engine failure caused it no small amount of trouble. In 2022, Boeing temporarily suspended 777-9 test flights after an unspecified issue occurred with the aircraft's General Electric 9X engine. The issue was discovered during a flight test engine endoscopy inspection. Boeing had to look into the issue in a joint investigation with GE Aerospace. Both investigated whether the issue was limited to a specific engine, a manufacturing lot, or a design flaw. During the run, GE stated that a temperature warning was observed and the operator was able to shut down the engine normally. The specific GE9X engine involved in the issue was the longest running engine with more than 2,600 cycles and more than 1,700 hours. Like the 777X engine, the GE9X also had issues. GE postponed the GE9X's first flight, which was scheduled for February 2018, due to problems with its high-pressure compressor and durability issues. This led to a redesign of the compressor, which delayed the Dash 9 first flight by six months to January 2020. The manufacturer had previously planned to fly the plane in late 2019. Boeing said it has supported G Aerospace as it evaluates the recent G9X engine issue and will resume testing the aircraft once its thorough process and appropriate actions are complete. Safety is Boeing's top priority and its supplier and engineering teams will take the time necessary to support the evaluation as Boeing works transparently with its customers and regulators. The launch of the plane has been further delayed by another setback, further damaging the aerospace giant's reputation for quality. The company was recently forced to halt testing after discovering a problem with a structural part between the engine and the plane's wing during a recent test flight. Boeing acknowledged the issue in a statement, noting that it had identified a part that was not performing as designed and that it was being replaced as the company sought to capture any lessons learned from the part. With this latest issue, the plane's revised 2025 launch date is now at risk of being delayed further. Boeing has said that flight testing of the four-plane fleet will resume when ready. Since its debut in 1995, the 777 has become one of Boeing's most successful aircraft, with the 777X expected to continue that legacy. The new variant is meant to give airlines a more modern option than the popular but aging 777-300ER. But the repeated failures have raised concerns about Boeing's ability to deliver on that promise. The latest development adds to a series of challenges Boeing has faced in recent years, including a safety crisis following the mid-air explosion of a door stopper on a 737 MAX operated by Alaska Airlines earlier this year. The incident, which involved missing paperwork and key bolts, only added to the scrutiny of Boeing's manufacturing processes. Do you think Boeing will soon solve the problems the Boeing 777X is facing? If the answer is yes, comment number one. If not, comment number two. The problems surrounding the 777X are part of a broader pattern of safety and quality concerns that have plagued Boeing's assembly lines. These issues have drawn the attention of federal investigators and whistleblowers contributing to delays in jet deliveries that are disrupting airlines and passengers around the world. Despite these setbacks, Boeing recently scored a rare victory over Airbus in new aircraft orders in July. However, the company continues to lag behind its European rival in total orders for the year, as ongoing safety concerns weigh heavily on its reputation. The manufacturer is reportedly moving planes with thousands of unfinished tasks and missing parts through the Everett production line. 
Everett Facility Management aims to have three nearly completed 777 freighter ready and the fuselage of a new Dash 9 ready before a potential strike involving more than 33,000 mechanics begins next week. The urgency is forcing mechanics to install parts out of sequence and perform tasks in unorthodox locations, including on flight lines. Supply chain issues are exacerbating the situation, causing shortages of needed components. The rush to complete planes ahead of a potential strike has led to significant deviations from standard manufacturing procedures. The shortage of components has led to a contentious operation on the production line. Boeing is said to have had to remove parts from existing aircraft in the factory and install them on 777 that are due for delivery. This fragmentation is not limited to the factory, with reports revealing that parts have been taken from completed 777-9 stored at Everett Payne Field. Not to mention, the aviation industry is facing labor shortages, including a lack of skilled workers, which affects production speeds and lead times. The complex logistics involved in sourcing components from multiple suppliers around the world have posed challenges. Shipping delays, tariffs, and other factors have contributed to supply chain disruptions. Thanks for sticking with us until this point. If you are new, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new aviation news. We would appreciate it if you comment below and share this video with others if you found it useful. Let's move on to the next part. If Boeing can complete certification for the 777X soon, it will be a huge boon for international airlines. The aircraft is expected to be significantly more fuel efficient than its predecessor, the 777-300ER. This is largely due to the advanced GE-9X engine, which is the largest and most efficient commercial jet engine ever built. It will also have an impressive range, allowing it to fly further without refueling. This will allow airlines to serve new routes and expand their networks. The aircraft will also demonstrate Boeing's focus on the passenger experience. It will have a spacious and comfortable interior, with wider seats and larger overhead bins. This will enhance the passenger experience, especially on long-haul flights. Its large cargo hold, suitable for both passengers and cargo, is also a major advantage. This will benefit airlines that need to transport large volumes of cargo. The 777X fuel efficiency and reduced emissions will contribute to a smaller environmental footprint than other aircraft in its class. Overall, the next generation aircraft is expected to be a highly competitive and efficient aircraft, offering a combination of fuel efficiency, range, passenger comfort, cargo capacity, and environmental benefits. A. Swiss International Airlines 777-300ER aircraft on a flight from Tokyo to Zurich was forced to land in Kazakhstan due to a medical issue. After landing, the aircraft's front wheel hit the grass, rendering the aircraft immobile. Ground crews towed the 777 back to the runway. Swiss International Airlines confirmed that all 319 passengers were safe during the incident. The airline will conduct a thorough inspection of the aircraft for potential damage. An investigation into the circumstances surrounding the emergency landing and subsequent runway incident is underway. The airline said Swiss confirms that the crew of Flight LX-161 from Tokyo to Zurich made a stopover in Astana, Kazakhstan, due to a medical incident on board. The passenger concerned was handed over to medical personnel on site. The landing was uneventful. The airline added that it was working at full capacity to get passengers from Astana to Zurich or their destination as soon as possible. As rebooking options in Astana are limited, the possibility of sending a new aircraft and crew from Zurich is also being considered for all three 19 passengers on board. Boeing's 777X program, once envisioned as a game-changing aircraft for the aviation industry, is facing significant hurdles that threaten its future. From engine failures and structural flaws, to supply chain disruptions and strict regulatory scrutiny, the program has been plagued by delays and quality concerns. These issues have not only tarnished Boeing's reputation, but also cast doubt on the company's ability. Despite these setbacks, Boeing remains committed to overcoming these challenges. The program promises advanced fuel efficiency, longer range, and improved passenger comfort, features that could greatly benefit airlines and enhance their operations. However, with the program's launch repeatedly pushed back, airlines are growing increasingly impatient and the competition with Airbus's A350 is intensifying. Boeing's recent struggle to maintain production standards, coupled with labor shortages and logistical issues, further complicates the situation. Yet, if Boeing can address these issues, 
complete the necessary certifications, and deliver on the 777X's promises, it could still secure a strong position in the market. The next few years will be crucial for Boeing as it seeks to regain its footing and restore confidence in its ability to innovate and lead the industry.